All right, welcome to the video. We have a nutrition question here today. I'm just going to read it out. Wondering if you could do a quick video on how you're able to eat fatty dessert every now and then without falling off the wagon, so to speak. I try to eliminate the fatty vegan desserts because once I have a piece of donut or cake, I want to binge on all the junk. They sound like they're really hungry. Mm. If, you, if you don't have any control, it means you're really hungry. Yeah. Just like if you lay in a bed at the supermarket or the department store, you lay down, you start... <laughs> You t you're so Falls tired. Start snoring. Yeah, it's not you don't have a sleep problem, you're just really tired. That's right. If you want to eat more than one donut or a whole box, you're obviously very hungry. That's right. So, um, how do I not fall off the wagon? I stay carved up. It's really important for me and all of you to eat before you are famished. Because when you are famished... You you, yeah, you lose control. You lose control and your standards drop to the floor and you will pretty much eat anything in sight because the brain is desperate for some glucose. Or any, any calories you can get. If it can't get glucose, go for anything. That's right. And uh, you will crave the fattier, heavier food because it's richer in calories and it's a, it's a dense source. Yeah, makes sense. How many, how many calories in a gram of fat? Nine. How many calories in a gram of carbs? Four. Yeah, so it's like no wonder people go for the real fatty stuff when they're hungry. And uh, no, no one goes for fruit, really, <laughs> unless they're a fruit lover. Yeah. Even then. When, when you stay consistent on this lifestyle, you sort of reprogram your cells to crave that. If I enjoy a donut or a piece of cake, after one piece, if it's fatty, I really, I don't want any more. Do you find that as well? Yeah, because I know I feel clagged out the yeah. next day or whatever. Yeah. So. But I like to make low-fat muffins and cakes and stuff and... I can eat the whole loaf or the whole pan of muffins with Harley in a day and that's no problem because they are low fat and they are just an energy source. Yeah, when you say low fat, like how, do low you use fat. oil in there or uh, what? No, I don't use oil. So instead of oil, I use apple sauce and mashed bananas and plant milk yep. in, in all, all of my baked goods. Did you put so, sugar in there as well? Oh yeah, I put Sh a lot of sugar between three quarters to one cup and then... I put in, you know, the vanilla, the cinnamon, some yeah. baking soda, and flour. So f fully sugary, yeah. carby, very carby. Yeah, I make it really sweet, and uh, I find these days with desserts, they're usually not sweet enough, and they're usually too fatty. Mm. So you eat them, and your body's looking for the sugar, but because there's not enough, and then you're getting that fat on top of it, you aren't going to be satisfied from it, even though you may be feeling sick and bloated from and the fat. Yeah, you've got extra calories. Now you've got That's extra right. calories you don't even need. That's you right. Know? You have the excess fat calories, but you haven't got the sugar that your body needs. So you'll still be searching for it. Your brain just keeps you searching. Keep eating. Yep. Keep eating. One day we'll get some carbs here. So just cut out. Oh, yeah. Not enough carbs. You don't have a muffin top and front. Do you have a muffin top and back? Show yep. us. No, you're very, yeah, yeah, okay. So you, you walk and you talk. You've yeah, got the results. I walk and I talk. I'm transparent. This is what I do. Yeah. So the secret is if you're craving the fatty, greasy food, you need to realize and make the connection that you are hungry for the calories and you've got to have your clean carb fix first. What's a clean carb fix? A clean that... carb fix for me is a banana smoothie. How do you make that? Uh, how do I make that? I generally blend up about six large bananas, soy milk, Sugar to taste, topped with a bit of water. Okay. So another uh, clean carb example meal. Another clean carb example would be rice, with maybe some plant milk and some sugar. Or sounds a bit random, but I really like rice and apple sauce, or rice and a bit of mashed banana, something sweet and starchy. That is real power fuel. Oh, what sort of rice? Oh, any rice? White rice? Brown rice? Black rice? Uh, my preference for those dishes is definitely basmati or jasmine. So white rice. White rice. Yeah. But I, I do like black rice as well, but white rice cooks so yeah. quickly and that, yep. is a, that is the staple. It's so cheap and always easy. always get your clean carb fix in first and you need to establish the habit and eventually that becomes good routine and then eventually that is what your body craves. Mm. So so, I, like going to bed early. Yeah, that's right. If, if you want to go to bed early then you have to get up early in the morning so you're tired by the evening bingo so I, <laughs> common sense though this is too this is too straightforward yeah. there's got to be more complex than this yeah i mean, I, mean uh, I 
Yeah. <laughs> I always cry my fruits mm. in the morning. And if I can't have them whole, then I'm going to blend it. Sugar. Yeah, or have a fruit juice or a tin fruit. So yeah, that that is the secret, and that is why I don't fall off the wagon and I don't binge. I mean, some people say that our big meals of bananas and rice are binges, but they are not because we are still lean, we are still getting it done. Yeah, we are we're healthy, around, healthy, kicking ass, not running on stimulants. Stable. Yeah, not running on stims. Not running on stimulants. I mean, for, for most people. Having four pieces of fruits so classified as a binge. That's a binge if you're on the keto diet. Oh, it is, you isn't know? it? That, that's just like a bit of a micro snack. So I yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's home. Yeah. Anyway. We but, yeah, so there is one more thing I wanted to add. Um, I've, I've definitely been there before when I'm so hungry and then I eat the fatty and high carb food like a, together. Mm, potato chips or something. Yeah, chips or something. Fries. And... At the start, it's good, but then after, it's like, mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I've I've been there, and uh, your brain will be telling you, go go to this, go to this, go to this. Trust me, just carb just up, <laughs> just delay gratification yep. for one minute. Yep. For have one you minute. have you clean yep. carb source? For sure. And then you're good to go. Yeah, it's amazing. Even just some sweet juice or a soft drink. Yeah. Change your mindset. 100%. Even seconds. Within seconds. Imagine trying to do the keto diet, how depressed you'd feel and out of control oh you'd gosh. feel. You know? No wonder if you have all these crazy mad binges on. Oh, and, just... and imagine feeling so undercard. Oh, man. And crazy. And then depressed. Going to caffeine. And then feeling guilty. I, and then... I'd, be, I'd be so irrational and angry and moody. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It's nuts. So, Very so good. So that, that is the secret, and that is how we do it. Simple stuff. Simple stuff.